Uh, hi, I'm Pavel and uh, Santosh asked me to, to write post about American cinema on GFI blog. And but there are two problems. First problem is that nobody gonna read my post except Santosh. Um, because people, I mean, at least people of my generation, they don't like read. This is why Life Journal is not popular anymore. And second problem is that I'm terrible writer. I mean, I'm terrible speaker as well. I, I don't know English really well, but at least you can see my gestures and probably they gonna help you to understand what I'm talking about. So, okay, so topic is American cinema. And there are many, so many things that uh, it's possible to say about American cinema because it's so huge business and, and so huge topic. But I will tell you only one simple story that probably will help you to understand my vision of American cinema. So like two years ago my friend came from Moscow, from Russia, uh, just to visit America. It was his first time when he came to the United States. And after five minutes, when I saw him at the airport, I asked him, like, what do you think about America, like, after five minutes of visiting him? And he told me that he already knows everything. And it was surprising because... Uh, it was surprised for me because he never been there, so how he can know everything about America? So later we started to travel around uh, California, around uh, Arizona, around Nevada, and there were two stories uh, which happened with us that can help to understand why he knows everything about the United States. So the first story happened on Sunset Boulevard in LA, where we got lost, and we didn't know how to get to Hollywood Boulevard, but because my friend, he watched film Pretty Woman, he found a way in LA, in the hugest city in the world, from one boulevard to, from, yeah, from one boulevard to another boulevard. Uh, and uh, as a result, we found a place that we tried to find just because of this film, just because my friend remembered this film Pretty Woman. A second story happened when we wanted to make a picture of LA, uh, but we wanted to capture like huge city, so we needed some hill, some mountain where we can make great pictures. And uh, uh, my friend again, he remembered film Alcohol and Drive by David Lynch. And as a result, we traveled, we went to um, Alcohol and Drive, where we made great pictures of LA. So basically the idea is that American culture is American cinema and American cinema is American culture these days. Uh, and uh, I'm not a huge fan of Hollywood films, I mean of high budget Hollywood films of major five studios uh, who everyone know. But I really like uh, independent American cinema, uh, films by like Todd Solons or Gus Van Sant. Um, and uh, the film that I want to recommend uh, is of course American film because the topic of this video post is uh, American cinema. Uh, the film, the name of the film is Coffee and Cigarettes by Jim Jarmusch. I don't remember when this film was made, but yeah, uh, please watch this film, Coffee and Cigarettes. Uh, if you already watched this film, watch it second time, third time, and Every new time when you're gonna watch this film, you will find something new for yourself. You hang out here a lot? Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is my hangout. Hmm. Huh. I just wondered because uh, I didn't see anything of yours on the jukebox. Well, I mean, if you don't like it here, we could. You could go down to Taco Bell or something. Maybe that's more your style. What are you saying, man? You're saying like I'm like a Taco Bell kind of guy? No, well, I mean, if you if you, if you, if you don't like it here, you say you don't like it here. Huh? No, no, I didn't didn't say that. Oh, well, you are like the International House of Pancakes. Maybe that's more up your alley. I, don't know. Hey, I didn't say that. I mean, I don't want to go to the International House of Pancakes. <laughs> I'm comfortable. <laughs>
coffee's good though at IHOP. Oh, you like the coffee down there at IHOP? I drink the coffee at IHOP. I like the coffee. You don't like it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I, I like the IHOP coffee. Classy brew. Yeah. Classy brew. Yeah, that's that's good coffee. Yeah, that's, that's good coffee at the IHOP. So we have coffee here. And uh, the question is, how good is it? The problem is that I don't drink coffee. So, so you're gonna try this coffee. Is it good or bad? Uh, <laughs> It's pretty heavy. It's too sweet. Oh, too much sugar in there. I can have some water. <laughs> Will be better. Or... No. Uh, and you guys are uh, related. Yeah, because of his family, man. Yeah. No, but you're messing with me now because you're you're both troublemakers. So, troublemakers. The Wu Tang Clan. All right, Wu Tang Clan. You're Jizza, the genius. That's right. And you're Rizza, A.K.A. Bobby Digital. Yeah, you know it's hip hop, yo. You know it's hip hop. And you're Bill Murray, Bill. Groundhog Day ghost busting ass Murray. Who you gonna call? I know that. Just don't tell anybody.